Hey guys, Josh here, and today I thought I'd post kind of a different video for you. This is not going to be a review on my jersey collection, but I basically wanted to show off some of the players and teams that, you know, I enjoy watching and that I root for. Just because I collect a lot more things than just G1 Transformers. Uh, as far as some of the toys, you know, I collect Beast Saga, Air Raider, Sectars, Captain Power, Starcom, and things like that. So, uh, this is something that I'm very passionate about, you know, as far as uh, sports. That's probably my number one love, and Transformers is probably number two, to be quite honest. Uh, but some of the teams that I enjoy watching... Uh, baseball, as you can kind of see there, the Dodgers. Uh, basketball is going to be the Lakers. Uh, NFL is going to be the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, college is going to be Penn State. And as far as soccer or football, uh, I like Chelsea. I like watching them. Or really any of the World Cup stuff. I enjoy watching it, uh, men or women. So it's very entertaining. I like watching golf as well. Tennis is probably the only thing that I can't watch unless it's Serena Williams just because uh, she, she's a beast. She's probably the best player in tennis. But... Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. As you can see, that it is my Dodgers jersey, authentic. As you can see, 22. So it is Clayton Kershaw. I bought this probably, I think, three years ago, uh, right where he was starting to become into his own. But this dude is an absolute beast. I love Clayton Kershaw, man. He's going to be one of the best pitchers that we have uh, probably for the next you know 10 years. Uh, next one that I have up is the only college one that I have, but this is my uh, old school Penn State uh, jersey. My grandpa actually bought this for me, uh, I would say over a decade ago before he passed away, so it's something that I really enjoy. And, uh, it was actually, I, we bought this in Texas, and it being Penn State, the only size that they had was an extra large, and I was probably at the time, uh, well it had been more than 10 years, I would say probably about 15 to 20 years ago, so I was about 11 to you know, 15 years old, so I wasn't very tall then. I'm only 5'9 now, but extra large is a little bit too big for me. But, uh, you know, classic back then until um, the past year, then they start uh, putting the names on the back of the jersey, so that's why it's like that. So that's probably one of my favorites. Always wear that on Saturdays. Uh, my very first Kobe Bryant jersey, I've never bought any whenever he was actually number 8. I do have his high school jersey that will show up. But this is one of those replicas that you can buy. I forget exactly how much these are. Uh, I think these ones, if you buy them in stores, they're about 100 The other ones that I have are a lot more expensive, but uh, still not too bad. Uh, guy lost a bet. I bet, uh, I forget, it was like a game, San Antonio and uh, Lakers, and he was a San Antonio fan, and uh, he lost, so he had to buy me a jersey. Uh, next one, it's kind of the same thing, but as you can see, it's uh, a lot better quality. Uh, you can see all the nice sewn-in stuff there. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera. But as you can see, you've got nice stitching all throughout. Uh, there's the front right there. Uh, what size are these? I think they're 48, but not too bad. Then I've got the gold one here. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing from 24. Kobe Bryant, you'll kind of see a theme going on here. Kobe Bryant's my favorite player, so. And we've got the purple. So those are the three primary colors that they usually wear. Uh, they're all size number 48. And you can see it all down there by Adidas. So I really like these. These are really nice. And I have uh, my choice to wear you know, whatever I want to wear uh, during the Laker games. Or wear whatever color they're wearing. Uh, this is kind of a different color design. It's also, I believe this one, yeah, it's made by Adidas. But as you can see, it's the original, you know, trifold sign there. Yeah, I still got the tags on this one. Haven't taken them off. You got kind of a cool little design. I don't know how well it's showing up just because three of the four lights in this uh, collection review room went out. So that's why I'm not probably going to do it, you know, a uh, transformer review later on this week. But really cool. I like the uh, gold and the black there. Another one that's kind of just made up colors here. Uh, I really like this one, you know, with the gold, the purple, the black. It just, some way it just looks right. Uh, you know, number 48, I think I take the tag off it. But I enjoy wearing this one. This is kind of, I don't know what colors I'm wearing for that day, so this is the one that I wear. I like it a lot. And this is another Kobe Bryant jersey. If I can get it off of here. Uh, there's only one more, so yeah, I know. I tried to basically buy every single Kobe Bryant jersey uh, incarnation that I could find. It's kind of got these San Antonio Spur colors there, so it, it's not too bad. I'm really not a big fan of this one. I like the other one a lot more, but had to have it. It's Kobe Bryant. 
And then we have, uh, basically, not by Adidas, but done by Nike, the Lower Marion High School jersey, because a lot of you guys know Kobe Bryant uh, did not attend college. He went straight to the NBA whenever you could still do that. Uh, but there it is. It's a little bit short. I tried to order the same size, uh, 48, but for some reason the Nike 48s and the Adidas 48s are really not the same length. So this one's a little, little, little small. But there he was, number 33 is the original number that he wore back in high school. Getting into NFL. Uh, let me get this off here. All right, so there we have Des Bryant, number 88. Uh, he's the third member of the Dallas Cowboys to ever wear number uh, 88. Uh, the first one was Drew Pearson, which was the original number 88 that uh, combined a lot of touchdowns there with uh, Roger Staubach, and then the other one that a lot of people know is Michael Irvin, uh, that you know basically had a lot of combos there with Troy Aikman, and you had Emmitt Smith and Jay Novacek, and you know Moose and stuff like that. So really cool jersey. Uh, I do like the little ribbons here, and as you can see, it's a little bit tighter here on the edges. Uh, they just switched to the Nikes, but this is the Reebok, so uh, it is a couple of years old here, but still. Enjoy wearing it. It's really nice. And you see it's all these jerseys except for the very first one have all the nice detailed and stitching and stuff in there. Alright, the other one. I actually have two of this. I have one that's uh, one size bigger that I actually need to sell. But it's just been sitting in my closet for a couple of years. But Miles Austin, this is the Thanksgiving Day uh, or the retro that they wear every once in a while. They always wear it on Thanksgiving Day. This is the Miles Austin Cool little story about him is right after his rookie year, uh, me and my family went on a cruise, went to Jamaica, and went on this, I guess, floating the river uh, river on tubes and getting drunk and stuff like that. Uh, his mom, his dad, his girlfriend at the time, and him were on there, and I just kind of played it off like I didn't know who he was, but uh, just so it didn't make him uncomfortable, but you know, he signed an autograph at the end. He said he appreciated it. It was cool meeting you, and really nice guy. So, bought his jersey, ended up turning into a pretty good receiver for us. Hopefully he stays healthy. Then this guy just retired. I had to get it just because uh, he's an iconic Ray Lewis. And uh, to be quite honest, um, the, the colors on this, I always like the Ravens jersey. You know, purple is one of my favorite colors, and then black. I mean, you got the gold on there, so it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Lakers. But uh, still got the tags on that. I don't know if I'll sell it or not, but you can see it's all the on-field uh, NFL equipment there made by Reebok. So really nice jersey. It's a 48, so same size as the other ones there. Just really like this, but I'll probably get rid of it just because you know, I'm not a Ravens fan. I'm a Cowboy fan. Now, as far as some of these jerseys, these are the the old. You know, these are actually uh, a bit old. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe about eight years. These are the DC United uh, warmups. So you know, you don't have any number there. Uh, Might have been actually the jersey there, but no particular number on there. Uh, just because I used to be friends with, well, I'm not going to say like we're not friends anymore. I just haven't been staying in touch with him. But his wife actually was the Southwest representative for Adidas. So she would like always bring home stuff and just like, hey, you know, this doesn't fit my husband. Do you want it? I'm like, yeah, you know, free stuff. So we get like free shoes, jackets and stuff like that. Uh, this is one of the things that she ended up hooking me up with and while with a few other Adidas things that I'm not going to show you, but uh, really cool. You know, and I like the colors. I'm not really a fan of DC United, but I do like the colors. Here's the uh, black one. It's pretty much the same thing as you see MLS there, Major League Soccer League here in America. Same thing there on the back. And they're really cool. Um, the necks are a little bit tight, but, you know, once you get your big head in there, pretty nice. Uh, this is the... Long sleeve warm up, so this isn't the jersey, but you know, just a long sleeve warm up. Uh, you got the Adidas stripes all the way down on the side, so really nice, climbing cool stuff. Here's a jersey my brother bought me, and as you can see, it's really small. Uh, it's a Chelsea. Uh, he bought it for me for Christmas, I think a couple of years ago, and I really like it. I've never been able to warm it, just or wear it, just because it's uh, too small. So, but really cool. I like it. And here's uh, another jersey that uh, yeah, my grandpa that passed away that uh, he bought me, uh, which was another thing, you know, Dallas Burn. Now I believe they are called FC Dallas. Uh, but as you can see, you've got the Burn logo there. It says Dallas Burn. 
uh, Nike swoosh on the back there. It says MLS. So I believe this was more of kind of a, like a warm-up jersey for them. But not too bad. You know, my grandpa bought it for me. And it's an extra large. And I think he bought it for me when I was like 10 years old. So it was like a dress on me. So, But anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And I will talk to you later. And next week, we'll have some transfer reviews because I'll get my likes done. And uh, we'll have Cybercast on... Saturday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Talk to you then. Bye.